Ah, that would help. Monday. That's what I want. Okay, go. Mm, apple goodness. Sure, but what is this thing? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Taking a long time to load it. Hmm. Why don't we do some scrying today? Scrying would be kind of cool. Well, I do have roots and stuff to do. Meh. There we are, No, me there, me there. How's it? Yeah. I still have the day. How about you? Uh, excellent. Game is very slow. Took me a while to log on. Yeah. But I think it's be logging on. I'm not sure. Did you see those posts in the ESO thing? Uh, yeah. yes. You can extract. Just where? Oh, my computer is actually running slow. There's a lot of stuff that's just lagging. What? Hmm. So, did you run Minion before you logged on to ESO? No, I haven't. Because it's remembered that every single one of your add ons. Okay, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Let me go do that quickly. <laughs> I noticed that when I walked up to my bank and I couldn't deposit anything. Hold on. What do you mean I'm not depositing stuff automatically? Right. I better go check out. Need to be. Update all. <laughs> some of them doesn't update as well, because some of them have not been updated by the. It's a bit of an issue. Hmm. I've locked almost all of my stuff so that I wouldn't accidentally deconstruct it. Yeah. Now that I want to deconstruct it, I have to unlock it. I have to unlock every single one of them. One. <laughs> one. Because you can't.
can't control shift, you know, <laughs> control A or, you know. <laughs> it's a long slog. Yeah, well, it's all worth it in the end. I was going to do some scrying. Hmm. What? You know that the Witches event is still on, though. Is it? Oh! Yeah. I got the dates wrong. It ends tomorrow at four o'clock. Oh, in that case, then I'd better log in with Elorath. Screen loading simulator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Okay. Look at my hat. Isn't that a great hat? Or a lovely hat. I'm still mildly annoyed that I've been collecting the wrong berries. <laughs> <sighs> So I got two of the one lot of the moss berry and then two of the fire berries or whatever it is. Yeah. Well, don't worry. I was very, very chuffed with myself because this morning I managed to log on and then run around like crazy to find a instance that had the impresario in it. Ah, yes. So that I could trade in my four tickets. I got three and I had one left over. Uh huh. And when I was sitting there, I needed two more uh, start motives to complete the Hollow Jack um, style mastery key. Uh, yeah. And so I've got the first one, I bought the grab bag, I opened it, and it's like, yes, Hollow Jack swords or whatever it was. Okay, thanks. Open the next one. Yes! The last Hollow Jack that I was looking for. <gasps> Uh, it was like, oh. That's fortunate, dude. Well done. That was really fortunate. Because, <coughs> of course, yesterday I picked up the first piece of the, uh, the skeleton marionette. And, of course, you can collect ten of those pieces. So it was like... I just had my sets ready. updated. What? Yeah. It and says beginning you... scrap of set items. Estimated time, 26 seconds. Yes. Okay, that's normal. All right. Hey, yeah, Kawemi. Okay. But then also take a check at your collections and hit new, and all of a sudden you'll notice you've got a sets icon now on the far right hand side. Ah. And updates just because you're wearing it. Uh huh. And then of course anything that you deconstruct. Okay. So I'm being quite clever and I'm getting all of this to phase with spiders because she is going to be sort of my harvester so that I can up the, you know, her crafting skills. Yeah. So that when I do go collecting, I will not get, you know, 50% chance of iron, 50% chance of platinum. Oh, uh, yeah. Dead. Yeah, it was totally cool. I had no problems popping by and visiting your stream. I was supposed to come back when I ran off, and then by the time I got back, you'd finished your stream already. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. The, the, the sound of your microphone was a bit weird, but besides that, it was quite fun watching you. So, yeah, glad I could help out. I mean, you hang out with me all the time. So, sorry, John, I just had to reply to Cobwebby there. Okay, Nick. I don't mind that you have other friends. <laughs> Well, they could talk to you too. They're more than welcome to ask you questions. <laughs> God, do we want to go down that road? Uh, maybe. <laughs> could be the entertaining. Is a variable between probably not and, and you'll regret <laughs> asking. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I can still go do some stuff. Alright, I'm gonna run off to Rivenspire. Yes. 
a couple of seconds and I will come and join. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Let me go that way. Wait, no, I will. The game's like, ooh, did John say he was going to leave? Right, let's pause. <laughs> of course they did. Don't you walk away from me, Santiago. <laughs> no. I think you've been watching too many daytime soapies, dude. <laughs> nah, dude, that, that was, uh, what is it, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, I, I haven't actually watched any of that. Ah, do yourself a favor. Just just watch the opening two minutes. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see why um, I rated quite highly. I, uh, just... yeah, I must have, I never got around to it. That's in, like, the American version of the uh, Office. Yeah, that one I never got onto either. Uh -huh. But like I say, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Just watch the first. It might be between two and five minutes. I, I can't remember. Okay. But if you watch the first two to three, two to five minutes, however long that first intro part is, yeah, where you hear him talking, uh, and then you'll see why. I think it's a very clever series. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it's the same guy that does the I'm on a boat. Yes, oh. it's Lonely Island. Yeah, yeah, it's that It's that one guy. I don't know about the rest of them, but... No, they're not the same people. It's definitely, but I mean, it's the the thought that goes into the Lonely Island song. Yes. Is also the thought that goes into Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay, maybe I'll give it a go. Because I saw that one woman that's like, she's always a bitch and whatever else, and... Yes. Uh, everyone was like scared of her and, and uh, I, I saw like a bit of that where she was sick and everyone was yeah. trying to like do all the work for her um, I was like oh well, maybe it looks entertaining uh, but they, what, they're on to their sixth season now or something so it's got to be half I think decent they I think they got a bit more popular than they expected ah. because the whole thing looks as though it's supposed to be set up as a you know a one off right uh, and then it's like, they're like, oh, shit, this is actually working. Um, <laughs> we need another season. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, they start filling with it. But I think actually that's possibly their, their success, is because most American, um, you know, series are yeah. made to be a series. Yeah. Whereas I think with Brooklyn Nine Nine, they were like, "Let's see if we can get somebody to buy a season's worth of this from us." Yeah. Oh, and fuck! She killed me outright. This was your fault, you dumbass. You came in there cause started a fight. I thought there were more people here. No, that better not be my treasure trove. No, my treasure trove. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, when, when Ty left you alone and you were running around for a while, like almost like defending his body, that was, he did pretty well. I mean, I played that game a couple of years back when it first came out and my computer couldn't handle it and it was so glitchy and my internet was terrible. And then eventually I just gave up. I also had to remove EA Origins from my computer because it was just chewing up space and RAM. Um, but I'm kind of keen for it to arrive on Steam. And then I'm going to give it a go. Um, people seem to be enjoying it quite a bit. Which game is this? Uh, Apex Legends. Oh, yes. I've seen that. Uh, it, was, it was probably the closest thing I felt to Hunger Games. It actually really felt like a Hunger Games kind of situation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, more, more than like Fortnite or PUBG. Mm. Ah, son of a bitch, you guys. You guys suck. There's like three guys here and they're all useless. <laughs> it's like none of them tanking, none of them healing. Mm. Oh! Ah! Hey, Upchuck. <laughs> it is actually Upchuck as well. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's that one. Thank you. Hello. Vomits in mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Mixed with How's he, Rob? I'm alright. Uh, good, good, good. <sighs> Watching, the hmm? Watching the Witcher. Watching the Witcher. Yeah, as well. So I was bitching and moaning all day because when I woke up and with that patch, it took yeah. like five hours to load. Oh, yes. 
finished loading, they were like, no, no, sorry, American and European servers are still under maintenance. We've identified some errors, so fuck you, you can't play until we fix. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm watching 3 o'clock firefight. I'm not gonna get any plunder skulls today. Oh, yeah. John, uh, Cold yep. Webby says season 7 comes out on the 4th. <laughs> so I was right, there was like 6 or 7 seasons, I thought so. Mm. Well, if it's all on Netflix, I'll just binge watch it and see what happens. Is the boys oh. out on Netflix? Is that no. How you watch that? No, no we. Are. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's move on. This conversation. <laughs> <is> the <laughs> it's the same with the preacher. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nick, invite your group. Okay, I'm busy getting my ass handed to me by by Magdalena. These guys are still useless. You're involved in a fight without me? I well, I thought these guys were going to kill her pretty quickly, so I ran in because I didn't want to lose out on the fight, and they kept dying. So, so you're actually not just playing with other friends, you're also the playing with total strangers without me. Other friends? That's a very loose, broad term to yeah. use. I, I feel so betrayed. Good. Um, so hurt and small. Now you know how we felt when you used Alex against us. <gasps> I mean, Gordy, we knew was going to betray us. <laughs> I mean, that was a duh. <laughs> but but Alex, that was that was low, man. But you know, I was actually. Were you there when I was talking to Danny about it? Uh, I, I may have missed it. Oh, and I was just going on about how you guys missed so many clues. Um, yeah. The, the number of plots that I'd actually, not plots, plot hooks that I was ready for. Yeah. When you guys figured this out, because, you know, there was supposed to be the, the fight, you know, drag you down the range, and so that you guys would figure out that somehow he was always ahead of you, and he knew what you were doing, and the, the serrated query knew that it was you, and, and, and. Yeah. And you guys never went there. <laughs> That, to be well, I mean, fair, to be fair, that wasn't my job. My okay. character was never going to do that. So, yeah. But, but I mean, you were the one who was watching him do some of the stuff, and you were like, "Oh no, that's okay. Just move on." Yeah. Well, I I was okay with it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I did everything for the emperor, so I was justified. I figured he was doing the same, so it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's all very, very interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we were playing a role-playing game called Dark Heresy based on the Warhammer 40k game. And we were playing like Inquisitor's Underlings. And uh, we had a whole variety of different people. So Danny was a, a rogue-like character who had a gun fetish slash obsession slash, well, she probably lived longer without air than she could without guns, to be perfectly honest. That's just her character. Yeah. Um, then Peter was uh, another friend of ours, was also another rogue-like character, but he was like the gambler and the, the guy who would fix the deals. Yeah, he, he would fix the deals and all that kind of stuff. And um, then I played like the magic user, the psyker. Uh, he was fully devoted to... Uh, to the emperor of mankind. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anything to justify the means as long as it's for the emperor. And then we had Alex, who was probably more robot than anything else. He was a robot. He was a robot, full through. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was, uh, he was like a Terminator. Yeah. Uh, a who, who then ended up betraying us. So, yeah. In beautiful the worst possible moment. Yeah, then then you still had the nerve to bring bring Alex back into the group as a new character. We're like, eh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as if we were gonna toss him out the game. <laughs> no, you totally should have tossed him out the game. The price you <laughs> yeah, pay for like backstabbery. The feelings of betrayal. <laughs> yeah, the feelings of betrayal was but, still strong. That like you I, couldn't help but view with suspicion. <laughs> I think, like I say, the problem was that you guys were supposed to gradually become aware of the fact that something was not right. Yeah. And so that when the final reveal happened, you guys were like, 
Ah, okay. Now we get it. Well done, John. Well done, Alex. Yes. Yeah. But instead, it was a case of you guys were completely fucking oblivious. So when it did happen, the the the, the betrayal was real. <laughs> uh, oh, heavy sack. Uh, heavy sack. Oh, I just got all the pork. Uh, gosh. Well, I don't know how long this, let's, let's go to the Delph. Oops. Oh, all my pins are gone. No! It's almost like your minion hasn't updated everything. I have it? updated it! Yes, but remember, some of the things can't actually work. Just to make sure you've enabled out of date. <sighs> oh, fuck. If I lose all that info, it's gonna suck. You won't, you won't. I'm 99% certain it's because it's automatically unchecked to use out of date. Yeah, it has turned off. Okay. Yeah. Reload no, UI. That doesn't okay. fix it. No, it's uh, uh, re re enabled and now I'm reloading the UI. Yeah. You also that have to make sure that you run the to update. Yeah, no, I have already done that, yeah. No. No, no nothing has worked. Yeah, oh, right. Nothing seems to have changed. I don't have my mini map. Hmm. Inventory. Nope, everything's still gone. Okay. That's alright. We'll sort out later. No, it's not! <laughs> they made a big... Well, yeah. Something. We're, we're missing some things. You're just standing there, John. Are you doing something, or are they attacking you? Uh, yeah, no, the one they're not attacking me. Ah, there we go. But I was... I'm trying out some stuff with my... Uh... Macros. Ah. Uh. Apparently, I've got to go and do something with the timing. Obi Wan. Yeah, stop teleporting. Actually, I dragged that one too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so slow. And she's not here. But neither is a corpse, which means she's going to be his. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Well, that, that was disappointingly quick. <laughs> was this guy with us? He arrived just as we attacked. Oh, okay. So that's probably why it was so quick. How am I going to get through life without my UI? Meh. Come back, dude. <laughs> okay, update and everything will be fine. Okay, that was just a little bit of overkill. <laughs> just got to see that. Oh, she's back here as well, Nick. Oh, wait.
do this. Okay, let me just... I'll try to stun her as many times as possible. Oh, never mind. I died anyway. It's like an area yes. effect zap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I just suddenly went into the loading screen. Ah, oh, no. I'm probably going to die in a few moments. Oh, no, you're dead already. She's already come back up to full health. Shit. I'm still staring at the loading screen. That sucks. Whoa. And I ended up at the Great Shade Way Shrine. What the fuck? Crest Shade Way Shrine. Dude, I'm on the other side of the map. That's weird. Yes, I am. Dude! I've yeah. never even been to this Way Shrine. That's bizarre. Or she really, really <laughs> uppercutted me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's one hell of a punch. That's one hell of a bunch, because I've heard from Skyrim that the giants can send you to the other side of the map type thing. Oh, oh, yes. So yeah. maybe that's what she did. Oh, come on. Give me my healing. She's gonna kill me. Gonna kill me. Gonna kill me. I'm dead. Oh, that's why I'm still a stage four vampire. Ugh. Oh no. Whoa, motherless. Oh, by the way, use yeah. light attacks. Use light attacks like a mofo. Yeah, I do. Every time, every time you use a light attack, you open up an eight second window during which you earn ultimate. And I died again. This is bullshit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I alternate between a, a attack and my light attack continuously. Okay, that's cool. She not cool. Not happy with her. Holy hell. Kick my butt, okay. John. Yeah, apparently during that fight I did fifty percent of the damage. Ah, I don't even know what mine is. <laughs> oh, okay. Well Pad actually hang on, it's just me and you, it wouldn't oh and there was this guy. That's weird. Okay, so I went to escape, I went to my add-ons, I'd already clicked on use allow out of date, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, nothing has obviously activated, so when I click on reload UI, mm -hmm. it then gives me the loading screen, did that. and then undoes it. Yeah, that's that's why I didn't click on... Yeah. I noticed that as well. I d yeah, if you reload the UI, it unchecks everything. Interesting. Um, hidden for me. So, Which UI are you using though? So don't Advanced use. UI. Okay, I'm using Bandit's UI. Yeah. I do have Dark UI as well, but I've got that unselected. Yeah, and then there's L UI as well, which apparently is pretty good, but very common. Uh, well, let's give it another load and let's see what happens. And... nope. <laughs> oh well. A tiny while to actually get it to yeah. in a day or so. I can't play it like this. It's unplayable now. I, I, I just can't. I can't unplayable. do it. Unplayable. <laughs> I can't believe I used to play this without any of that stuff. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I already just recently actually started using all the other stuff, so it wasn't too much of a thing. Uh, John, have you gone to the yeah. public dungeon? Uh, I actually came to this world boss who is here, but he's on the hardcore, so... Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, well, we, you're in the right direction, so... Princess Peach! Yeah, ah, where's those pineapples? <laughs> How you doing? How was your weekend? My first day back at work today. Meh. Yeah, no, it was okay. It was it was relatively chilled, but it was like uh, you kind of get used to being at home, and you get like a routine, and uh, mm -hmm. you kind of you come you kind of almost wish wish like yeah uh, if if only like I got paid to do fun things and <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it was only sustainable. <laughs> I don't like taking these gun these guys on by ourselves. Yeah. Um, I need to see if I got a crown repair thing. Just give me a second. Oh wait, somebody's going in. No, oh, crown experience. Oh, okay, fine. I better just run in there then. Oh Jesus! The person that went in and started this fight. Dead. Dead. Leave, Nick. Leave. Get out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out too. Forty shit. Oh no! Oh no! Dead. <laughs> Very busy. Oh, that's fantastic. Give me more details. Give me the gossip. Give me the lowdown. <laughs> and there they are. Three back to one hundred percent. Dang damn it. We need more bodies. Shall we head to the public dungeon so long? Yeah. Because this ain't gonna happen. Isn't it this way? Is it this way? This way? Yep. I don't know which way it is anymore. There's a poor innocent civilian. I'm just going to hit them to make myself feel better. Oh, I'm going to find a chest. That's what you think. Nah, I stopped. I get more joy out of crates and barrels at the moment. Picked up another client who wants me to ghostwrite for a few parts of their book. That's fantastic. Ooh. You got you got to uh, slip in some pineapples. <laughs> pineapples. <laughs> a code word like oh so and so oh he. he. They enjoyed pineapples so much as you're like, what's this? Why are you talking about pineapples? <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, ghostwriting is quite a thing. Well, I mean, if you're an author and you've got a really good book, a really good idea, and a really good story, it's always cool to write the really interesting parts. Yeah. And you know, the mundane parts can get a bit much. So you farm it out, it makes sense. Yeah. Hopefully you're writing the fun parts, not the boring parts. But generally, that's what goes right to do. So. Yeah. And you get your name in the book. That's important. Or do they like pay you to like be quiet? <laughs> yeah, there he is. Go pick a fight. Go pick. A, go get him, John. Fat on fluffy. Oh yeah, you can add at least one reference to a pineapple. Fantastic. I'm going to have to buy that book now. <laughs> Let's see if the other guy's here. He should be. Oh, if he is, he is. Non-disclosure. Ah. Oh. <laughs> An NDA. Everyone's a girly. Damn it! Can you tell us? Nobody will know. Tell me, tell me. Mm. I I forget basically the minute I get told stuff, so I'm like the perfect person to keep secrets. <laughs> Ask my wife; she gets annoyed by it all the time. Remember that time I told you about that? <gasps> you told me about what? 
Or like, or, or better yet, she starts an argument about, you know, how I never listen. I go like, well, that's a strange way to start a conversation. She dropped a full thousand health there. Yeah. She didn't even realize it. It was like suddenly my screen goes red and I'm like, ooh, that's not good. Uh, barrels. Where are you going, John? Off to the next one already. Uh, no, there was some poor guy struggling up in the corridor, so I just charged along and helped him. Ah. very good about myself though. Right, came in to rescue like a knight in shining <laughs> armor. I'm watching him and I'm watching him and I'm watching him and I'm like, okay fine, I'm just gonna charge. And I go, boom and he's dead. Like Jesus dude we are a team eh? Ah it's perfect. I mean between my fire melting and your acid melting it's just like thank you so much for playing but please die soon again. Please die again soon. Uh, oh, yeah. I look forward yeah. to killing you soon. Ah, what was it? Yeah, that's what oh, he used to say. <laughs> no, ask a ninja. I don't know if you've ever watched any of those, but he's always like, I look forward uh, to killing uh, you soon. <laughs> <it's> silly. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, definitely missing a healer here. <laughs> I've ran right past one of them. That one. But you can tell us about it after it's printed. I mean, surely that's okay. <laughs> okay, I got a bit too distracted there. I was playing far too much fun. Oh, I got some full as well. Full of sh stuff. <laughs> Yes, give me all your barley. Nice. Keg's empty. Son of a bitch, they tapped the keg. Oh, wait. Somebody's having fun over here. Seriously, even after the book's been printed and stuff like that, you still can't actually even say? Yeah. Wow. That's one of the conditions. Oh, wow. It's kind of like when I'm on set, though, I can't say anything about it until... You know, or release any pictures until you know, the TV show or the movie has been released. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, once it's been released, then it's, everything's fine. You know, you can re you can release all the photos and you can talk about what happened on set. And you know, oh, but only yeah. only once it's done. You know, I figured that would be the same with books. Once it's released, then it's fine. Uh, you're not John. Hmm? No, there's someone else here running around. I've been following them. Where are you going, John? Oh shit! Well, whoever it was, they were shooting, <laughs> and uh, I just thought it was you. <laughs> Both paired up with strangers. It's not like I like playing with Nick, you know. Tolerating. <laughs> yeah. Wow! All of a sudden, Nick got really good. Hey. <laughs> 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 hey! I pride myself on not being good. Okay. Nick, do you want some fish? Yes. Okay, come here then. 
I can finally see where you are the other way. I'll just right. run past everybody because everyone just ignores me. You can run past people if you want. I'll pick a fight. Well, that's fine. Once I find you, then we can pick a fight. Give me a fish. Have you filleted? You have you have you filleted them already? Yes. What else you got? Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Nice. Glad to be of service. And then tell me, can you loot this body? I can. <laughs> and there's another plunder skull. Nice. Uh, so you didn't do anything for it, you still get the loot. That's just unfair. Ah, oh, it's so good. Is that a. No, it's not. Uh, oh, uh, the only thing I can tell you is the genre, which is science fiction, and that it's slated to come out in 2022, and that everything is very secret. Well, actually, science fiction is right up my alley. I enjoy reading science fiction, fantasy, <laughs> horror, suspense. Yeah, that's about all. Do you remember um, Blackadder Goes to War? Uh, yes. And, uh, is that the World War One yeah. one? The World yeah. War One one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember Hugh Laurie's character's name, but he comes in and he's like, Ah, oh, back at it. What do you think of our daily propaganda sheet? You know, the, the battalion rampant or whatever it is. You know, and back at it's like, well, it's rubbish. <laughs> and he goes, you know, well, look, but it's a, it's a morale booster and, uh, you know, daily insight and everything. And, and then back at it's like, well, I use it as toilet paper. <laughs> A few moments later, the general comes in. He's like, "Ah, Blackadder, well, tell me, what do you think of our daily propaganda sheet? The, you know, the battalion rampant." And so, of course, Blackadder comes along and very dryly says, "I find it strong, thoroughly absorbing material." <laughs> so the general comes back with, "Ah, well, this ought to be right up your alley then." Uh. <laughs> oh, God. So I always remember the very last episode of that season, mm -hmm. you know, where they have to charge the the line and like, oh, wouldn't it be great if like, you know, someone whistled and told us to call it off at the very last second. Oh, that would be wonderful. And they hear the whistle to start the charge and oh, well, off we go. And that's how it ends. Just like, wow, that, that was dark. Oh, you know, like, it was very bleak. That and the, the ending of Dinosaurs. When the comet yeah. lands and uh, the the world starts to freeze and all the, and the dinosaurs die, you know, with not the mama and all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, I can't believe that's how they ended that series. Like they fucking killed them all off. It's just like. Okay. Un momento, por favor. Depressing. Uh, Danny, it does that. It attempts to download and patch and then download and patch again. I huh. thought mine was going to take me like forever. It actually took about half an hour. And that's the one I can't make. No, no. Sorry, I wasn't going to type it here. Ah. Yeah. So I just held the record button down and. Good man. Twaddled on. Yeah, Blackadder, I mean, yeah, jeez, Rowan Atkinson. Man, that. Whatever that guy touches turns to gold. It, it was Rowan Atkinson, Hugh Laurie, and... Uh, Baldrick. Baldrick, yes. No, Baldrick. <laughs> also, the general is... Uh, Stephen Fry. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Fry. Yes. They were actually just so good together. Yeah, they bounce off each other very well. Uh, I mean, so I, 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 I'd love to see how much of it was actually ab living. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Stephen Fry actually played with Rowan Atkinson in The Thin Blue Line for a couple of episodes, for one or two episodes. Oh, did he? Ah. Yes, he was blaster sump, God rot your soul. <laughs> he was a Scots uh, gout master. And so, of course, he, the first thing he does is he gets and he puts, he's a Scotsman, so he's wearing a kilt. And of course, he's talking to this group of like 12 and 13 year old kids because they're going to take them out into the wilds. Firm up their character. Give them, give them this 
<laughs> he, as he puts his knee up onto this. Uh, <laughs> you know, traumatized. He talks, with, talks with great fondness about his wife, Mrs. Sump. God rot her little soul. <laughs> you know, and he talks about the survival pack. It's got everything you need in there, from toilet paper to sandpaper. Now, mind you. Don't you confuse the two. <laughs> <laughs> a not unholy, unpleasant experience, but then I went to Charter House. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? So clearly he so, got a uh, a random encounter in some strange places. <laughs> yeah, but Stephen Fry can pull that sort of stuff off. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that uh, a couple of years ago when they gave him that, that guy gave him that interview and he thought he was going to rip Stephen Fry a new one, you know, about his religious beliefs and everything. And so what happens if you die and you go up to heaven, you know, and you meet God? You know, what what would you say? And the first thing Stephen Fry is like, first thing I say to God is like, how dare you? <laughs> I was like, how dare you? Dare you inflict such misery on people? And then he then he went on a on a on a real ramp, uh, rampage yeah. after that. Hey, and he just the second that guy opened his mouth to say something, hey, Stephen Fry mm -hmm. made the guy feel like he's like two inches tall, if not smaller. Yeah. That guy is just, yeah, his his brain it fires on all twenty cylinders like all the time. The problem is that him and Christopher Hitchens were very good friends. So a lot of cross pollination happened there as well. All oh, right, and yeah, you don't want you don't. I mean, one, you don't want to mess with Stephen Fry. You yeah. don't want to mess with Hitchens. You don't want to mess with both of them at the same time. Where they sort of, <laughs> where they cross pollinated each other, and you know, you've got two very capable minds. Yes. Uh, examining the subject. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be, that would be a fly on that wall. Sorry, Rob. Yeah, very, yeah, I was just going to... Yeah, they're both very bright, but but not only that, they're actually, they're so articulate that, like... Because uh. sometimes you can hide... If you're articulate, you might be able to hide sometimes that you're actually quite dumb. People don't yeah. know. You speak so well, they think you're smarter than what you are. But yeah. those two were both. <laughs> it's a potent combination. The, the scary part is as well is that neither of them were willing to back down from the the normal societal point. Um, so they, they would say, uh, well, not even cower. I mean, there's there's certain lines that in polite society or like just society, you don't cross without seriously thinking about it. And a lot of people rely on this to push the boundaries from their side and rely on you not pushing back. Right. And those guys didn't. They wouldn't back down from a confrontation. It's like, oh, you've decided to engage me on this topic that I find fascinating. Allow me to educate you <laughs> harshly. <laughs> Having said that, I don't always agree with everything they had to say. But oh, no. was it was always entertaining. That was the thing, though. I mean, it was it was yeah. fascinating to listen to them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what I do like about it, though, is that they, particularly Hitchens, was willing to re-examine his ideas, um, and quite often would actually rip himself off in the same <laughs> tone because of his previous preconceived ideas. Um, but. That sort of, you know, making you think from both sides of an argument. I mean, I isn't like that the well. point of it? That is kind of the point of it. I mean, if a person makes mm -hmm. a valid point, you should at least acknowledge it. Uh, well, it's not only that. It's I mean, if you don't um, agree with it, you're kind of like, uh, I, don't, I don't agree with that point of view, but it is interesting, you know, or worth some well, looking into, uh, you know. Well, it's, one of the... you know. You're talking about how it should be done as opposed to how humans actually behave. Yeah, you know? yes, yeah. But the thing is that uh, I know that for classical debate training, one of the things they make you do is argue this side of the debate uh. and then argue the other side of the debate as well. Ah. Because you can't stand, you can't argue against something unless you understand it. 
I actually um, reminds me. Sorry, John. Yeah. No, you carry on. Uh, I, I had a flashback to an episode of Star Trek Next Generation where the guy came to claim data so you could take him back to the facility and take him apart and study him. And they then had a court hearing over it uh, and he had to be represented. And it had to be fairly represented. And so Picard defended data and poor Will, uh, William Riker had to be, had to uh, make the point of why data had to be taken yeah. and data. Uh, data 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 doesn't matter and holy cow will Riker's point was just like vicious because at the end of the day he's a machine he's a machine he's he a piece of it, precisely <laughs> and, the, and the thing that the point that he made so so abrupt right at the end was is he freaking turns data off He's t he pushes his his deactivation button that's hidden yeah. In his in his back, and he's like bloop, and then he goes, "I rest my case," and yeah. and it was just like, <laughs> "Holy shit!" I mean, even Will Riker uh, when he sat down, he was like, "What have I done?" You know, it's like, but I mean, there was there was Damn. The, the, ah, that was cool. that was brutal, brutal. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but all of a sudden, I got this: you will now be killed on sight by the law. Oh, were you pickpocketing? Like, oh, you ganked something. I don't think so. I was trying to talk to the bank. Uh, <laughs> 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 whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Sometimes uh, you may have you may be running around with something like a thieves trove or whatever, and you may have clicked on it, and then they say like uh, as a, a guard comes up to you and you don't pay attention to what they say, and it times out. I mean, there's a possibility. It might have, might have oh, been that, that has happened I think to about me. it, because I did auto open a whole bunch of containers. Ah, that that may have been it. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have to go to. Oh, I can. I, I got space. I can open but this. But also, now. I wonder if maybe my auto loot is still on, but my don't loot when stealing is not. Oh, it's in the settings. That's why. But mm -hmm. Yes. Well. I've been. I've been character swapping. So, I'm done character swapping. Um, can you send me a group invite, please? Yes. Over John's rotting corpse. <laughs> As it stands right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Send some hate mail to Rob. Decline. I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. More uh, crafting motifs than I already have. Ooh, which mother's potion oh, brew? Speaking of which, could you um, if you've got any simple writs, could you fling them my way? I have two for you, dude. I have two. I have I have three peeled eyeballs, uh, craft uh, uh frosted brains, and Excellent. which mother's potent brew? Um, actually, yes, I can do that. I like um, I did some provisioning, and it gave me both. Bevers juice and frost Miriam as ingredients. Ah. Okay. It gave, it gave me a few of each actually. I could probably throw some your way if you still need to do. Well, it has to be no, no. It has to be created by me. So it's. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, frost Miriam. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Uh, okay. Peeled eyeballs. Packly. No, you can't have the burn broth because that's not going to work. And uh, which mother's potent brew? Bone broth, bone broth, and uh, unless, of course, John doesn't have the hat yet. In which case, I don't have the hat, but I've only got three writs that I can give to you, and I'm not thoroughly thrilled. So, like I say, get the title. About the hat, or about giving them to me? <laughs> uh, the hat. About so, okay. I mean, I. I don't mind giving you enough to get the title. Okay, I might. Okay, being sent. You're giving me three. John's giving me three six. That actually might be enough to give me the title because I think I needed seven before the day was up, and I did one or two today. Um, right, I actually I think I actually think it's the actual numbers of the writs. So, 
I don't think it's just one per root. I think it's actually the numbers of roots that you get from it. Because I only did like like seven or so, and I ended up completing mine. Are you sure it's it definitely just like last year? No, 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 no. I I wasn't playing last year. I only started really playing properly at the beginning of this year. says roots not root vouchers but if you only did seven yeah. then there's no bloody way i know i know i didn't do the full amount i can guarantee you i didn't do the full amount yeah. so it it's was kind of weird uh so maybe we're lucky you know well, in which case the purples the the ones you're giving me they count for two and i know i've got 21 or 22 root vouchers mm. on my other character there we go check your mail rob Alright, in which case I need to swap out characters again. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. I will save the friendship and then I'll swap back in again with that character. Oh, unless you run a public dungeon, in which case kick me. <laughs> I'm in a good dungeon. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna load in again. AFK though, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee too. Oh, oh, even if I sell stuff, uh, things get added. Because I just got Griffin's bow added to my collection. Okay. That's interesting. I was I was uh, stole it and then I sold it at the um, at the thieves guild and I just saw the announcement now. Griffin's oh, bow. Oh yes. If, if you launder uh, accounts, I don't know about selling, but definitely if you launder it. Well, you know, I got rid of it. I fenced it. Okay. So obviously that does count as a launder. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, 400 in the bank plus another 200 that my various characters are probably carrying that I could just start destroying. Yes, I've sold stuff and Dark Strider boots have just been collected now. Uh, no, I'm just looking at diagram, common cage, diagram, common trap. Okay. I was wondering if I should just sell them or just put them somewhere. Uh, like, should I put them in the guild? Go take a look at the filthy scavengers and see if there's anything there that you want, and then drop them in. Ah, okay, good point. Alright. So, I mean, there is some pretty nice stuff in the guild. Uh, uh bank. Ninety, how you doing, dude? I totally missed out on your makeup. <laughs> My computer crashed, so yeah, it sucked ass. So I'm having a nice long chat with you guys, and bloop, green screen of death, blue screen of death, and then it just didn't want to turn back on, so I just went to bed. I went, to, climbed into bed to sulk. <laughs> <laughs> 
motherboard is not happy and that's really frustrating considering it's only like six months old maybe a little bit older now but Claim my horsey, hearty. By the way, that makeup was awesome, dude. That found stuff was freaky as hell the uh i think the contacts definitely helped <laughs> did uh, any of that stuff uh, get through the, your skull cap and uh, stick to your hair Shame your eyes hurt for a while. <laughs> Did you struggle to get them in? Or do you use contacts already? Because I mean, here in South Africa, trying to get contacts just for, you know, cosmetics is a bitch. Or just overly expensive, I think. Stuck in your sideburns. Aww. At least it wasn't like that uh, black mask stuff that they love putting on people for effect. You know, just to tear it off. Oh, damn, that's already known. Nick, I'm heading to the dome and it's up on the north of Riven Spire if you want to travel to me. Cool, I'm just in Somerset now. I'm just busy going through those uh, crafting stuff. No problem. Uh, they were from piercing store that sold cos cosmetic contacts. Oh! Yeah, dude, I saw the pictures. And then I saw like the last one or two clips of, of, of uh, the next day. Uh, you know, very well done. Dolman's up. Jet. <laughs> oh, crap. I gotta sort this thing out first. I can't run away with all these items in my oh, bag. And people are fighting it as well. So. Yeah. Who oh, well. It doesn't matter. You can come back later. <laughs> I hope you put on an old shirt though, dude. Hope it wasn't something good or expensive.
No, it's, I've, I've become so used to using the UI. Oh, yes. It's... Everything's like so it's slow. Like, you're like a divorced father all of a sudden. Yeah. I'm so used to looking for the ticks and the, and the colored symbols. I'm just like... Okay, we're going to deposit all of that. I love it when you finish the dolmen off in that voice. Filth. Anger a powerful enemy. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, and then like when you beat the guy, he's like, oh, it matters not. <laughs> oh, yes. What is it? Sometimes the prey turns nips. It is a small thing. <laughs> but it's like, I, I summon blah, blah, blah. Reaper of souls. And oh, shit, he's dead. Never mind. He wasn't that important to me anyway. It's like... <laughs> Things. If I pick up one more grave dancer, I'm going to be really upset. I'm I'm not kidding you. I need the Glenmore Orc shoes, and then the Glenmore Orc battle axe and bow, and that's it. I've, you know, I've completed those. And they're not crafting, so they're not a big thing, and I really shouldn't be upset or anything. But. but... <laughs> This guy comes running past a surgical portal, and I'm like, oh, you must have not noticed it. Great, I'll go grab it. And then as I'm heading towards it, he suddenly stops, turns around, and he's like literally a meter ahead of me as he grabs it. Oh, oh are surgical portals not individualized? No. They're, they're, they're like chests. If you think about it, no they idea. are actually just chests. Yeah. So, you, get you know, the same you items from them as you do from chests. I just. I thought I thought when a psychic portal opens up, like I'm the only one who can see it. No. I thought it was personal. Mm -mm. Not I at all. Many... <laughs> I'm starting to wonder how many people I screwed out of getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I got there first. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly it. Okay, you know what? I'm doing this later. Fuck it. Okay, moving on. 91 out of 205. Okay, that was a good imp uh, That was a good attempt. Okay. 91 out of 205. What? Inventory space. That's how much space I've cleared oh, now. Okay. Yeah, no. But going through the guild stuff, uh, I definitely need the UI in place so I can just see the symbols and the ticks, and I'll be able yeah. to go through it a lot faster. Reading, looking for each sign, saying uh, in your collection or not in your collection, it just it hurts my eyes because there's so much <laughs> movement. Ah, <laughs> uh, you people all weak. What with your gadgets and your gizmos, and you want to, uh, can't handle the pace of regulating. So. Well, it was only I I got, only got spoiled within what the span of five days once I figured out how it all worked and once I was able to actually like read them at a glance it was so much easier. But I mean at first I was like what is all this stuff like and I had to sit there and I had to read through it and figure out what was what and now it's like oh damn this is this is this is actually really easy I'm like wow mm -hmm. and I was like no it's not it's not easy anymore it's horrible I hate it. I'm actually a little bit surprised that um, Soz doesn't consider um, incorporating the POV. 
Although, I suppose they can't, because they'd face, you know, no, they can't face um, copyright infringement, because they filmed their product. Yeah, well, I, I mean, the fact that they still actually allow UIs to actually work is already a good thing, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, they, that's been, ever since uh, Elder Scrolls started, they've always been about enabling other people to mod their work. Yeah. And to be honest, I think that's possibly Smart. why it's been so successful. Yeah. But I mean, it's the same with with World of Warcraft. I mean, you look at the amount of mods, I mean, you can barely see the screen with some of these people with all their okay. stats and buttons. <laughs> it's like a crazy amount of stuff. Makes sense, makes sense. What else we got? Yay, another pumpkin! Woo! Pumpkin hmm. patch. Whoa, pumpkin Man, patch. Nick, I, copyright, Nick. Copyright. Of writs. Sorry? It's definitely the number of writs. Oh, okay. I, I wonder if it's perhaps something like common writs, white ones, count as one, and blue count as two, and purple count as three. Because uh, no, didn't you make a bone broth? It's the gold, maybe that counts. The reason I say no to that is because I just crafted a purple, mm -hmm. which gave me two writ vouchers, but it okay. counted as one towards uh, okay. the, the title. But Oops. but a gold one might be different because that's the know. only difference between me and Nick is the, the fact that he did you, you did that gold one. So or maybe he just that lost count, count for a few. Which is let's be honest, very fun. possible. <laughs> very, very possible. I, I will not even. Twenty-seven. I, I'm not gonna even argue it, I, but I'm pretty I, sure I did not do the amount that it was I, needed. I used the word probable rather than possible. Yeah, no, but yeah, I'm still not disagreeing with you. There was a reason for that. <laughs> still not disagreeing. <laughs> yeah, but possible means. An element of doubt Maybe exists. That's what no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's that doubt becomes smaller. Listen, listen, listen to my voice. Do I sound even remotely concerned that I could be wrong with numbers? No, he's fighting it, John. He's protesting too much. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I hang around you guys? <laughs> Because you got no place else to go. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> is, too too soon. Too soon. <laughs> oh, well, dude, why, why do you think I hang around with you guys? I mean, there's a very large internet community out there that simply won't accept. Rather than hanging out. <laughs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, yeah. Like we have too much fun with this talking. You know, I think the game is just an excuse. Yeah, it's well... Exactly I... the same with the role play night. That's why we're here. Yeah. But I mean, it's the reason why, I actually, I, like, I, I opened up the stream, you know, after I shared that thing with one friend, he was like, oh, you've got to stream. You've got to stream this because it's actually yeah. hilarious to watch you guys. And that's why it's the banter. I often say it's just the banter with friends that actually makes it so much fun. It makes a lot of sense, and I agree with you, and I've only got one question for you then. Uh -huh. And that is... Why am I here? Sir. <laughs> Solo night on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Nick. Uh, because they want <laughs> gameplay and talk to chat directly. Because let's face it, when we get into like a a, a full blown conversation, and you know, we get all thrown up. You know, do you know, how long it takes for me to actually then read the chat and go, yeah, oh, them <laughs> yeah, and then like they like bring up points about conversation that we made about like ten minutes ago. I'm like, oh guys, I'm so sorry. Like, I like, totally missed um, out on that. It's like, yeah, you know what you need? You actually need to build in an add on into Twitch that has the, you know, like a, a, an auto read function. There, there is, and it sounds so, horrible. I know, and that would be great because there's no way you'd, you'd hurry up to get rid of it. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, I'm down to 87. Oh, I, I'm going to go do some of these gold treasure maps. 
Oh no, 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 I don't have the UI in place. It's going to take me forever to find stuff. Uh, Forget it. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not alt tabbing into Google and making my computer crash. Forget it. No, that's, that's weird because Lost Treasures works for me. It's. Fuck it, man. Why does mine not work? Oh, but he, John did say he reloaded Minion at that. I updated yeah, I mine. I used Minion, I updated, and then I ticked enable add ons out of date. Yeah, what I noticed is whenever I went into the menus, there was two sections where I would find add ons. I think add ons under the main menu and then under settings, I'm sure that yes. there was. Because um, your, your add-on actually adds its own menu settings. Yeah, if you go, if you go, I don't to, see it under settings. Yeah, if you go to, if you go to the top of your page, you know, you usually yeah. had them at the top there. It's not there anymore. I've just checked. Mine is working perfectly. Weird. You can see yeah. it under settings. Uh, no, I can see the red X on the map, Lost Treasures. It's working for me. If I go escape, I've got add-ons, where I. That's where you tick the allow out of add yes. things add on. Yes. When I go to control, under controls, when I scroll all the way down, uh, I've got bandits controls. user interface and dressing room, uh, as well as AI research group, which are some of my add ons that need to have some. Okay. Oh, and then under settings, I've got bandits UI as well. So there's three places that it can. I only ever had two, that main menu and then under settings, and the one from settings is gone. Mm. Then again, I loaded in, and that was it. So maybe if I load out again, update minion, try it yeah. that way, then maybe. Definitely do so, because the last thing you want to have happen is that those treasure maps stop working. I'm just glad I got them all. No, I, I, I'm glad I actually used up all of them, like mm -hmm. yesterday and the day before yesterday. Yeah. I'd be so upset right now. Actually, mm -hmm. oh, here we go. Princess Peach says your Elder Scrolls streams are great background noise for me to work to. I appreciate the banter. You're welcome. Right, at least we, we don't put it to sleep. <laughs> I, I think that I, just before I go to bed, I put in your stream just so I can drift off to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Monotonous, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna close the launcher completely, and then see what happens. I'll tell you what happens. It's gonna fuck um, me over. <laughs> group leader changes to at net verbal. And okay. I get rid of it. And yeah. <laughs> from group. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm feeling good about myself. It's the only time okay. you ever do, John. Let's face it, the minute you step away from that computer, your wife has your balls. <laughs> um, that, that's no, not no, true. That's a, yeah, it's totally so cut the already. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. That's, that's, that's 27. But that's 20. Come on. Give me the title. A <gasps> Wicked Witch. You are who? <laughs> I think that's it. That's that's that should be it. I am officially a witch. Go to titles. Titles. Everything's installed. Yep. That was it. Thanks, guys. You push you on the dot. That's well the done. Six I needed to get it. Force detection. Force minion to redetect all your add-ons. Force That's a good idea. It just reset the list allowed hard drive minions can stand. Well, I mean, this just says reset add-on detection. Okay, so if I close it and relaunch it. All your mods have been removed, like, no! <laughs> it's 
Yeah, I may have reset everything. <laughs> Again, it is probable. Yes. Weird, actually. Be able to join us tonight. <laughs> Is she still uh, three hours last night? Mm -hmm. Good night. Hmm. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Sir Robin ran away. Oh, of course, there was more than one bird. Whew. So, just, just listen to this combat report quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, light attack, bow, 2,200. Crouching weapon, 4,300. Celestrix, 13,700. Pillar of Nern, 42,000. I'm like, okay, I... I just shot two terror birds. That, that's all I did. Just once. And I did 62,700 damage. What the Which hell was that? Sounds really impressive until you realize that the Celestrix was the... Um, not the Celestrix, the Pillar of Nern. It's the one that does the earthquake. And that does like, I don't know, 6,000 damage, I think. Where is my add-on folder? Two of them. So, And then, of course, the bleed damage over 10 seconds while I was running away. But it's to both of them. But still, one shot, sixty-two thousand damage, makes me feel really good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's well buff time. I'm big. I'm big. I'm buff. I'm big. Not clear that I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, UI error. <laughs> Not a good Let's sign. Dismiss all. <laughs> Ignore something about harvest maps and libraries and modules at the harvest map. Harvest maps, libraries, modules, stuff. Uh. Why can't I? Oh, okay. Yeah. Documents. Never happened. See through the scrolls. Five add ons. I understand. I'm selecting it. Nothing is working. Ah, Nick? Yes. Okay. Go to your screen. Okay, basically, whenever I pushed escape, when I, I'm in bad kitty. If I push escape, then click on add-ons. Whenever I went in, it would be red, um, and then I'd click on allow a out-of-date add-on. Yes. And resume. But it would never really save it. What happened now is I went out of Elder Scrolls to my character screen. Uh -huh. And I applied use out of add-ons there. And now it's working fine. Ah, oh, really? shit. Good I'll probably go and bug it up my thing now. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to reload everything. If it's going to at all. Oh, by the way, I was doing some interesting reading today, um, and it was talking about why you should always run 5-1-1 armor. In other words, five of your primary set, and then one each of your other 
you know, select five medium, one heavy, one light. Oh, yes. I see, yes. And oh, I know why, I think. Yeah, oh. one, because of the undaunted um, passives, right. passives yeah. um, which is very important, especially in end, end game content. Uh, and two, because if you maxed up all of your levels in your, your armor, even just having one piece slotted means that you still get some benefit from those passives in that particular type of armor. And yes. that can actually make a big difference. Yes. So it's like, okay, well, that sounds pretty cool. Just, it's another 33 character points I need. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> How many? Uh, well, it's at least 33 for the armor. Yeah. And then I haven't actually checked for no, the... No, no. Um, uh, I'm, I'll, 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 not necessarily yeah. because some of the passives for the armors only apply when you've got five oh, pieces of it. Good point. Good point. So that'll drop so, things a little bit. Yeah. Um, but then the Undaunted, you also want to spend at least two points there. Uh, and then quite possibly another two points in the Undaunted Commands, because apparently that is, for endgame content, that becomes very important, uh, because you, you start running out of resources very quickly, and being able to regenerate, I think it's 4% or 6%, or even 5 I think Well, I, I find any stamina recovery fantastic, so I sink as much stuff okay. into it as possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's put it this Just way. With okay. With one point, it restores 2% of your max stamina, magicka, and health. So I think with two points, then it'll be 4%, maybe 5 if you're lucky. Yeah. Uh, and that can, and that's whenever you activate a synergy. So there's no time span on it. If somebody's dropping conduits or chain lightnings, you can yeah. X, 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 yeah, X, X. Potentially, all of your mates can <clears throat> drop one of those. Well, I mean, if you think about it, that um, in a fire, it's a taunt. A tank's going to be dropping that. Oh, I'm spamming that all the time. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, like, <laughs> X, 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 X. One, you're damaging the enemy. Two, you're rebuffing it yourself. Oh, X. Oh, right. I changed mine to middle mouse button. Ugh, whichever works for you. Okay, anyway. sorry. That's why it took me a while to actually... Sorry. No, in, in my head, I was like, X, X, X. Like, I don't use the X button at all. <laughs> like, what is that? And I was like, oh, wait. Yes, sorry. Of course. That's the other button. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> that's, that that's that's my assassinate and steal stuff from people button. And feed on them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this loads. Hydrant. Ah, oh, and the title. Okay, so the witch's hat is count wide, but the title is character. Yes. Specific. Oh, yeah. Bugger, if I knew that, I thought that the witch's hat was just um, character. No, 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 it's the other way around. Yeah, oh, so. Okay, well, in that case, guys. You... Anybody gets any witches roots, send them my way, please. Will do. Okay. Because I've all got of a like... sudden, I do want them. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like there's less than 20 hours left to the event. Well, <laughs> shit. Don't think it's going to happen. Okay, UI uh, error. There we go. Find. Oh, oh. time to find well, the Well, if we all pick up two tomorrow, two. which is very yeah. possible that's two four six um maybe I'm danny's like... got some lying around and i know i've got a few higher grade ones that just can't be used like the cursing you know the, the, the send them my way please because nepstan can definitely do those Son yeah, i figured your craft is bitch. high enough level definitely definitely but i mean nepstan's never ever going to wear a witch's hat that's why i never have to bother right. Because it's like the only person who can craft these is the only person I don't need. <laughs> okay, so guys, I loaded the UI from the character page. I came, I came in, and it gave me a UI error. It reloaded, mm -hmm. and it took all my UI stuff away. Okay, so now you go to Escape Add-ons. Yes. Enable out of date. I did. Again. And reload from there. And I did. And it's reloading again. Mm -hmm. and... and that's when I got a UI error. And I just ignored it. And everything is fine. Okay, well, 
Look nope. that you lose all. Okay, let's let's go back out again and see. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, okay, you're gonna like this, John. I've actually got five roots on me. Okay, fantastic. Two of them are poison ones. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, like so, that's easy enough. Um, but then I've got two purifying bloody Maras and one corrupting bloody Mara. So those are the harder ones to have ingredients I am for. Very sure that I will be able to cool. uh, craft those next I will time. Toss them your way. Because if Danny's got a couple lurking around and we all pick up two tomorrow, then you're getting a hat. Yeah, definitely. Okay, loading into Somerset. Let's see, it's going to hit me with the dis. I miscounted. I think it's just five I've got. Well, dude, that means I just need two more. So, thank you. Period. Admittedly, if I had known this, I wouldn't have been quite so cavalier about just <laughs> throwing my wits at you guys going, here you go, here, here you, you go, go, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I managed to dismiss it before it reloaded and uninstalled all the UIs, but I think it's, I've got it in now. Oh, freaking Luya. What a pain. All right, John. Ritz, let's have a quick look. I think I've sent all mine already to Rob. Okay, I've got. You sent me low level ones, which is the ones that I picked. Yeah, pack leaders, bone broth. I've got three of those, so that's no help to you. I haven't got any dragon bone. Yeah, I was about to say that's no help to you. Sorry, dude. That's all I got. Let's put it this way I can craft it. Just I haven't got the ingredients for it. Ah. That I know of. Where do you go? Oh, it's only from the. Because I was going to say, I was wandering around southern elsewhere for quite a period of time. Uh, I just remembered it's specific to the. Ah, oh, this is so good. Lazy crafter. Here we go. <laughs> it's glorious. It's so nice. Man, I can't believe. I can't believe I did these roots without this button. <laughs> I would sit there and I would memorize what I had to make for what, and then I'd go and make it, and then I would go off, and then... Oh, what's nice is, actually now, when you're making something that's part of a quest, it actually tells you what to do. Is it... Wait, so, say that again? Like, when I was... Okay, so... For whatever update they did today, what I noticed is when I wanted to craft a witch's writ, like frosted brains for instance, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. would be an icon over, like a quest icon over, when I went to the... the yes, file, I see it on the left hand there'd side. Be little, there'd be a quest icon, whether it was a, a, a dish or a, or a drink, mm -hmm. and then you click on, you know, dish, whatever, and then on the side you'd see what type of it, if it was a meat dish or a fruit dish or a veg dish. Yes, I've got it here. Yeah. Alchemist Grit, uh, Craft a Drain, Health Poison, Acquire Locan's Tears. That's on the left hand side. That's nice. So at least now you don't have to. Yes, no more. Me well, for me at least, because I don't have those UI interfaces. So, like, I okay. would memorize. <laughs> yeah. No, this, the, that, like, that also, this, this new little feature that they've added now will save a lot of time. Because then you simply just look at it and then as you build it, it's great. literally added that today that was not there yesterday yep. oh, to the bank we go. it's 
nice all the shipments and stuff also get opened automatically. With Donkey Bonds. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's first time so that nice. Happened. That's why you've also got to download Unboxer, dude. Imagine that with Thunder Skulls. Yeah. You just hit R and it just unopens. And you hit F and it'll fill it all your fish. <laughs> Times when it was good in the early days with some of the characters, no problem. But on Mac Tank, I was just like, I only ever had like a few spaces of inventory left, so it became I became very success, very specific about how I opened those plunder skulls. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Self chewing teeth. <laughs> it's a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Okay, 16. I can make uh, for. Uh, wait, how many do I make at a time? It, uh, poisons you make how many at a time? Is it 8? Make 48. Okay, that's too many. Alright. I only need 16. 32? No, that's still too many. Wow! I'm telling me I can make 16 for one lot. Yeah! Okay. Interesting. Huh. Alright, so with one lot of, of, of you know, solvents and, and reagents, one of each I can make 16 poisons. Yeah. It's that, four potions and 16 poisons. Yeah! That's, that's insane. Oh, I have to go to Elden Root. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Wait, I got a snug pod. I don't need to run all that way. Yeah, exactly why I've got the flaming licks as well. Yeah. Well, I've been saving up so much gold, I should just run around and start claiming all the houses. But I want to, like, well, actually, I guess I don't need to buy a big fancy house now. But. <laughs> I'll run around and just buy all the dinky places so I can fast travel for free. There's only about three or four, so. Yeah, boo. Two red vouchers, thirty-two. Yeah. yeah, I'm busy saving up to try and buy the Ebony style. I only need two hundred and fifty master red vouchers for. I've got twenty odd so far, so I'm doing well. I could buy an alchemy station here. Don't bother. We've got one at the guild. Uh, clothing station. Yeah, but I can travel to my house and put this down. Yeah, when true. But I mean, he gets kicked out of the guild for misbehavior. Yeah, yeah that's that. But that is true. Scroll down a little bit and see that you can also buy some storage containers. Yeah. Storage containers with cash. Oh, 200, 200 uh, red vouchers. Yeah, or a hundred for a thirty, thirty-one. Yeah. I mean, that, that's definitely within lunch. Okay, all of a sudden I'm regretting you giving me my witches. <laughs> no, dude, if you, it's also crafting. You get them when you do all your crafting stuff. You get master writs from that. Yeah. Sealed root vouchers. Yeah, sealed root vouchers, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Admittedly, I don't think any of them are quite as generous as the corrupting and purifying bloody morals. 
because most of them are like five, seven. Uh, the ones that give you 20 tend to be the set item. Like, you know, co craft a, a shield of ashen grip, red or in style, trait this. Uh, so, speaking of which, actually, I may need to ask you guys to try to craft some items for me. That blacksmithing is finally coming to you. Am I a different character? Oh no, I'm still in Elrath. I'm just talking to a merchant. That's what you're just looking at his ugly mug. Shapeshifter. There's a merchant willing to talk to Elrath? Uh, <laughs> yes, funny enough, he isn't bothered by my ghastly appearance and unnerving stare. What I can't get over is the fact that you walk up to the Fighters Guild to get your daily missions and they're like, okay, we want you to go out and kill vampires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, those are the most unobservant fighters. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, when you get to, I think, stage three or four, you can't talk to them anymore because they just won't talk to you. But to be honest, I think it would be really cool if at, like, stage three they wouldn't talk to you but if you were at stage four and you tried to talk to them they, they just automatically attack you it's like a guard type thing you're like oh fuck i forgot that run away run away run away <laughs> that's reasonable that would be an expected response yep hmm. Uh, I don't think I was Princess Peach, but what do you think of my hat? Eee, cock. Hey, shut your face. <laughs> it's from the event that we've been, you know, grinding away the past, like, what, week and a half? Something two weeks. Like. Two weeks. Yeah, nine, two weeks. Nine days. Two weeks. Fourteen. Fourteen days. I know I missed a few days in the beginning. I just want to do more writs, but now there's. I have to wait a whole day. Oh, it's the hat that's throwing you out. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, boop. There we go. See, and then I've got this one, which is. meh. Then I got this one, which is meh. And then this is the one, which is, yeah, look at my hat. Hmm. Stops me from burning in the sun, you know, being a vampire and all that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, just to back up a wee bit. So I was talking about that 511, the armor traits. Uh -huh. uh, and then another thing was um, dungeon etiquette. And, you know how you should be going on player unknown dungeons and whatnot and it was like okay so um if you're going to be a healer be a healer um let you and if you're not going to be a healer blah 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 um but also if you're a you know the tank is the only one who should have taunts if you have taunts or even a frost staff equipped let the tank know um, because this is just polite because you might be stuffing up there you know collecting and whatnot oh right yeah and then it goes on about, okay, uh, the resing is always done by the DPS guys, unless the, um, the the DPS guys are down, in which case the tank that you res, that does the resing, because the healer's job is to keep everybody alive. Um, or was it the other way around? Fuck, I think it was the other way around. The tank is supposed to keep everybody distracted while the healer does it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and if uh, a tank and a, and a DPS, or a tank and a healer is down, you always resurrect the tank first okay mm. and all of this was like okay making a lot of sense to me and i was reading through it. and then i got to like you know point number five about seven or eight i can't remember and it's like um it's okay to wander ahead and start a, a fight with a trash mob by yourself okay but a boss fight you don't you wait until everybody is there which makes sense as well and the tank always starts the fight don't start the fight without the tank. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, uh... you know, we do that all the time. Really, we do. I mean, I do. Um, because, of course, my two favorite moves are definitely Critical Charge and Shield Rush. And I love doing it. <laughs> and I mean, I've probably left... Uh, Emily, close the door properly. Tanks behind me going, You fuck, I wasn't ready. Didn't have my setup or, you know, whatever the case might be. Like, okay, time to change my play style slightly. I, I would just modify it to the point that if you see the tank running towards the boss, oh yeah, then you that's can. good enough. Yeah, no, definitely, I agree. I mean, I have played a tank myself, so I know, but my tanks generally arrive and then start spamming their stuff. So, spamming beforehand is not a consideration in my mind. Hmm? I'd just like to apologize in absentia <laughs> to a number of people I oh. don't know, but who have probably cursed me. Son of a bitch. My UI yes? just reloaded. <laughs> and unloaded everything. <sighs> Fuzzy, happy thoughts. Never mind. Fuzzy, happy yeah. thoughts. I am Carl. So I just arrived and just to turn in my first uh, rift. Not going to motorize anyone. 6k inspiration. I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. Never mind. Don't turn in the rift. Leave. Go to mementos. Use the witches. Whistle. Ah. Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, it's the same. 6k inspiration. <laughs> it's talking oh. specifically about experience. That sucks. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Disappointing, but bull dust. <laughs> there we go. Wicked rich initiate. I am now officially uh, a wicked rich initiate. Well done. That's all. One. Rit. That gave me twenty rit vouchers. Does that so mean it you can use the hat? Tell you in a few moments. And collectibles, appearance, hats, and no. Oh, hang on. Wicked writ initiate. Apologies. Take it all back, guys. Take it all back. It means I've done one writ. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's probably the achievement. Initiate. Complete just, your first witch's festival. Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> oh, have you not done any of them, John? I haven't, haven't touched them, dude. Oh. Like I say, it wasn't turned on, didn't think it was an issue. I've been sending all of my writs to you guys. Oh, like, bugger. Selflessly. Yes, of course. Well, we, got, we, we gotta help you out. <laughs> uh, like I say, at the time it really wasn't a big issue, and to be honest, it still isn't. Now that I know, it's like, gotta go, gotta go. Everything's peeling now. I'm molting, man. Losing my suntan. Not really. So here's a here's a thing for you. So I went to, well, I got sunburned rather badly. Uh huh. And so this was like the opposite of you. I got very sunburned, and then we went to Halloween. So we went to the hot springs there. But now, of course, I was peeling, but I wasn't, you know, I just started peeling. Yeah. And of course, Caledon, you, mm -hmm. the, the water's still very, it's not filtered, so it's brown, brown, brown. Yeah. So I walk, I, I go for a swim, and then when I get out the water, the, the bits of the peel hadn't completely, you know, fallen off. So what had happened is, each of the little peels had formed a uh, yes had full brown water brownish uh. yellowish water oh, so no. it looked as though my entire body was just covered Got the in plague. yellow brown pustules <laughs> like, like a Nurgle initiate I I had uh, something similar, except the uh, I didn't form pustules or anything like that. It was um, mm -hmm. the the dead skin mm -hmm. um, got 
died. Not died, but it got... Uh, they were like an off brownish color the dead skin was yeah. actually dyed yeah and so i had all these like bits of brownish like hangy bits as my skin was peeling any any part of dead skin that had like a piece of flap to it or water could get in between that and the living skin uh yes. turned brown yep. it was yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah <laughs> pustules of water are definitely an ick dude yeah i know it was quite gross and uh a few of them drained but others i had to actually you know like push push <laughs> the water out uh, or actually create a little hole at the bottom so that the water did drain out it's thick oh my god It was a... They had like a whole rack of pork, right? And I get like a full rack of pork, and I take it and I get one white meat from it. Like, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know how I feel about garlic sometimes. <sighs> damn it. But we can see there are three of the damn things there. They're hanging right in front of me. Three of them. I can count. I one. At least today. <laughs> Try that spider with a lot of stuff on them. achievements and one of them is the cauldron conjurer use the witch mother's cauldron to summon blah 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 ten times mm -hmm. and i had only used it twice and so i blew my whistle and <laughs> i just drank. went back and used 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 yes i just kept drinking so like she 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 drinks she <laughs> has a freak out yep <laughs> and, and then she takes another again. sip has a freak out <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is tasty <laughs> Freaks the fuck out. Um, and then it disappeared after the ninth one, so I'm gonna do it again. Just one more. <laughs> I bet I better do that quickly to myself. Just to get the achievements. Yeah. Just, you know, just, I, I, I didn't even realise that there were achievements, so I've done practically none of them. Yeah. But this one I can do. Oh, there's one where you have to eat one of every recipe that's yes. been crafted. Yeah. So. Although we're not going to get the bone broth one, so. Yeah. Must be speak nice words. Which yeah. sugar skulls? We ain't get the witch school sugar skulls. Why not? What do you need for that? Well, well, first of all, the recipe. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got the recipe. Second, you have uh, the recipe? Yeah, no, I had it sugar from skulls? well before this whole thing. Foxy. Um, it was in the filthy scavengers bank. How you doing? It was just lying in the bank. Yeah. My god. Well, let's put it this way. When we first started up the guild, um, people were dumping stuff left, right, and center in there. Because, you know, somebody would dump something cool, and it'd be like, ooh, ooh, I want that, so I'd have to find something cool, dump that in, and then somebody would be like, ooh, that's cool, I want it. So they would dump something cool. Um, it was, uh, I mean, it's calmed down a little bit since then, but it's, there's still a lot of cool stuff going in there. Admittedly, at the time, I didn't know what it was. It's been a while, man. <laughs> Just look cool. it, it was no, no. The thing is, it was a gold recipe I didn't have, so crap. Never stands yeah. but What you been up to? Billions of stuff you just never actually do. Ah, crap! These things explode. Oh no, there's more of them. Horvers, horvers. They're like tunneling beetles. Horvor, horvor, horvara, horvara. That word, yes. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I walk up to the cooking fire and I open up the next writ, and it's like, um, craft does this poison that does that. Hang on, where's my little arrow that shows me how to create. Oh, wait, cooking fire. Damn it. <laughs> I needed an alchemy station. 
Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Took me a second there too, John. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. What, we haven't seen you in ages. What you been doing? Been taking a break from... Yeah, I... I look, I... It's it's easier for me to just call you by your name than it is to swap back and forth. Otherwise, I am going to forget. I'm chatting to to uh. You see, I'm always uh, Oxy. Okay, I'm going to keep saying Oxy now. Damn it, uh, Pixella. He took a break Oxy from ESO. Yeah, so. Very wise decision. I don't know. Burn, burn yourself out, huh? <laughs> I mean, hell, dude, we're in the chat. You can come join us. I gotta get rid of this thing. You've recently got three characters to level 50. Oh. Bloody hell. No wonder he's burnt out. Jeez, dude, that's a lot of grinding. Have you done any of the Witches Festival, though? Your Stamina Crow. C-R-O. C-R-O. Stamina Necromancer. Stam Crow. Stam crow. Ah, bloody hell. I don't know all these abbreviated things. I just make something that looks like fun. You're playing League now. Like. <gasps> League of Legends, right? That's what you mean by League. <laughs> well, we can't have him in the chat group. Kick him! Kick him out! Beat him. Banned! For life! Drop the ban hammer. Uh, okay, I need to look at all my foods, consumables. Okay, let's see what we got. Crispy crunch pumpkin snack skewer. <laughs> so I'm in Vardenfell and the zone chat is all. Anybody know how to maybe fix the UI add ons? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> you know, some guys like turn outdated add ons in the settings, reload UI, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the very next thing I see in the user in the, the zone wide chat is want to buy dragon bone. Ah, yes. <laughs> Wonder what he's looking for. Okay, no, that's what I want to get rid of this character. Character. Which mother's boon? Which mother's. There we go. Boop. Back to normal. Yeah, I dare not actually mention out loud to Rob that the next season of Diablo is going to be starting no. soon. <laughs> he and Danny both know and they have both <laughs> the bitches and bastards. <laughs> Leave me alone, Yeso. So we're going to ban and John again for the next couple of weeks while we go play <laughs> Dungeon no, uh, Diablo. You guys, no, no, Diablo's you guys not... thrust the game at me. I mean, literally held a gun to my head and forced me away from Star Trek and then left me alone while you guys went to play Diablo. I mean... <laughs> we, we're gonna let this game, like, you, we're gonna let you, like, absorb this game at, like, a natural pace so that you're able to, like, when we come back, you'll be like, hey, guys, I've discovered this and I've discovered that and I know how this works and, you know, mm -hmm. become the brainiac. I do have the sensation that I'm being used here. <laughs> first person to go into the imperial city first person to become a vampire first person to become a werewolf first yeah. person to become a spiritual first person to do the pvp stuff first person to see it's what like, we, yeah it's almost as though you guys enticed me in knowing my play style and my desires Please let's get, get ourselves a guinea pig <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> If it works out well, we can capitalize on this, and if it doesn't, eh, we haven't lost much. No, no time lost doing this. <laughs> mm, it's good fun. I do, I really do rate this game. Yeah, I must admit, Luca, it grows on me a lot too. Luca asked me to level up one of his characters in Star Trek today, because uh, he had to go take a bath. Like, and I was playing it, and I was going, oh my god, this game is so cartoony. How did I play this before? I just want to fly the ships and make pew pew noises with the phases. The ships are definitely still good, but the ground mission. No. Ah, This is a. I mean, you guys need some elder. You need to get 
Zaws on board to go and redo your ground stuff, really. Yeah, can you imagine how much better it could be, you know? Yeah. But I mean, here's the thing, you know, like Star Trek, you've got a 10 by 10 grid of special ability. Yes, so you've got five buttons. Right. Yeah, it's quite streamlined. Yes, uh, oh, John, um, Pixel says it's been a hell of a grind. I got level 10 Psychic Order on two characters. Whoa, now that's a grind. Well, fucking that's a lot of running around. Yeah. That's a heck of a lot of running around. I hope you used some coward's gear. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. I wonder if my pin. Is pin killer. The one that gives us the little 3D pins. I don't know. Don't, oh. Oh, don't tell me those pins have disappeared. My pins have disappeared. Oh no! <laughs> it might be pin killer. It's one of the few things that haven't been selected. I mean, I don't use slow dialogue. I don't use smart cast, and I don't use spent skill points. Those are the only things that have been deselected. So, pin killer is probably. Harvest map, harvest map. Law books, lost treasures. Collectible pins. The only thing I have is pin killer. That's my, the only thing that gives me a 3D that I'm assuming is that. Oh, that's a dolmen somewhere nearby. I can hear that. There it is. Yeah, there was an option to turn it. Those pins uh, yeah, yeah. You usually you have it in your in your heads up display as an option, but it's not there. No, but just in the filters on the screen when you go to your map. Oh, I haven't done a dolmen yet. That's nice. I just got another gold plunder skull. I'm about to find out. Yeah. Inventory. No. Damn it. Sorry, John. Oh, yeah. No. Don't worry. Nah, it would've been cool. Fuck, what have I done? Uh. Oh, I beat one. <laughs> Bye, Rob. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to the character screen and reloading it. That's weird. Couldn't ass ass in Nate a blood fiend. 
You can't. But I fell on them before. No, you can feed on them, but you can't attack on them. Ah, uh, I guess I was too close then. They're your people. Tasty people. The blood must flow back to its origin. Okay, this is Lost the ability to craft pickled fish. Is it something you're missing? Out of ingredients. Good point. Ah, of course, clam gore, Arteum pickled fish bowl. <laughs> Dang, damn it. 90, it's totally cool, dude. I mean, if you're playing, dude, it's, it's fine. Thanks for the look. Um, maybe I should run off to Alaka and just do some dolmens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I figured it out by the way. Um, the Alaka dolmens, people aren't doing dolmens, they're leveling characters up. Oh, well, it's still perfectly in my favor. Yeah. So apparently they, they do run around to just level up characters in huge groups. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Nick. Yes. I think the reason we don't see the pins is because when. I load into the game I, with a new character. I get a UI error, and it's all under the harvest map add-ons. Uh, yeah, cause my harvest map isn't even working at all. I, I've got radar, resource radar, and that's it. Nothing else wants to work. I think that's what Rob's saying, is that it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, be harvest a map add-on is, is, I guess, fucked. I'm, I am still seeing stuff appearing on my map, you know, like resources. So uh, it should then read that. Resources or the pin above the resources? The resources on my map. My maps have reset. They're all blank, except for the stuff that I've discovered. But it hasn't, uh, it's, it's, everything is blank. So I can't see the contours of the map, but I can still see where the sky shards are. I can still see where the way sh shrines are, that kind of stuff. And world bosses. And yes, all that bosses. stuff. And then when I discover or when I run a part over an area of the map, um, it then uncovers an area where I've been harvesting resources. And it'll show me, like, for example, fish hooks for fishing. Uh, uh, runes, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping when you know, the map starts working again, then all that stuff just opens up again. Otherwise, it's going to be really annoying. Having to rediscover my map all over. Yeah. Especially since you went on such a cool clam gore run, run yes. the other day that to have to find those again is going to suck. I imagine. Uh, no. Well, technically, yes. You have to run over that area again to find them. No, I don't think I quite understand. Yeah, I know. I'm probably not explaining it properly, but... It's like, um... Undiscovered areas on the map. You know, that, that are still blanked out. I, but, I don't... But, I don't know what you mean by blanked out because my map is always like what do you mean by blanked out uh there's no contours there's no contours? contours dude like you can't see mountains you can't see the roads you can't see where the water is but you can still i still have the icon overlay over my map so i can still see where the way shrines are just as an icon in an area but it's not telling me that there's a mountain in the way or water When you just go into the normal, when you click on M and it brings up map, yes, you can't see the, the rivers. Uh, I can't see the roads, lakes, roads, lakes. Yeah, that? but I see the icons. So I see 
Uh, I know to the west there's a Sentinel Way Shrine. To the east there's Shrike's Airy Way Shrine. You know, but I can't see the mountains that are in the way. I can't see the roads. I can't see the water. Okay, that's fuck. That's weird because that doesn't require a user add-on. That's just for me at least. Like that was that was always there without any user. Yeah, I, I could see. Like yeah, so for instance, I can see there's a volcano in the middle of the map. I mean, it's telling me I've explored places. You know, I've uncovered the way shrine because it's white. You know, things like that. But yeah. it's not showing me that. I'm running to, uh, you know, Goat's Head Oasis. That there is, in fact, water around that oasis. You know. And the back. That's so weird. What's weird? Yeah, just my map it's information. Up. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I mean, like, fucked up, fucked up. It's understandable. I mean, there is. These things will happen. You know. No, the, but it's 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 know. like he can't see the road and the terrain yeah the terrain is all grayed out again like as if i haven't actually been here but it's telling me where all the icons are you know where the dolmens are where the way shrines are everything that i've explored those things are showing but not where i've been running that makes sense i mean obviously the map is just not happy i didn't have to base. what i don't understand is i didn't actually have to explore the map to unlock it like when the map comes up, sure, I don't have any way shrines, I don't have any points of interest, but I could see that, like, there's a lake. Mm -hmm. That looks like a mountainous area. That yeah. looks, you know, it, like... Something tells me that's supposed to be inbuilt, but, you know, the yeah. interface isn't working, so... Bring up the map. In other words, something to do with your user, your harvest map, is trying to draw something over the original map. Mm. Yeah. Tell you what, go and untick that user interface, that particular harvest maps, and see what that does to your map. Well, it was deselected already. That's Did the you? thing. Okay. So when I try and select it, it just doesn't load. Let me just here. Just came from that one. My juice is gone. No. Well, let's load a new character and see what happens. <laughs> Are we going to go to a public dungeon? Not a public dungeon, a group dungeon. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly test something out with uh, my scryer and then back in. I 
vampire son, and I'm like, nope, I'm going to burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's the total definition of nope. Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's for mine. Couldn't go never enough my way of it. He healed. <laughs> I'm out of here. Whenever the troll is healed, you must bash them. Put it uh, I, I didn't realize he was healing, and he went immediately from like, I mean, like it took like one second for him oh, to okay. go from 23 to 56 percent. I'm just like, all right, fuck this. <laughs> I've just spent five minutes to get him down. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so, tapping out. This is definitely nope squared. Nope to the power So I'm going to be your DPS in this uh, four man dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Great. You might want to kick me from the group. <laughs> if you want to be done this evening. Just choose an easy one, damn it. I was going to. Oh, what are the first ones? Oh, I suppose I can only choose the first ones, it's given my. Prison and the Elden Hollow and Mind Jump level thirty one. I've got everything with a one in it. I can do. Yeah. I just can't get over the fact that my the 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 character that I ended up wanting to do as a main. Oh, magica, nice. magica, magica, magica is the one that ended up as a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> but how how did you go about that? Was that just your encounter? Uh, this wasn't quite random because I was definitely hanging around the place looking for a bite. Uh huh. Um, but yes, I did end up getting bitten by a werewolf. So I was like, there you go, problem solved. You know. I wasn't spending time, I wasn't spending that much time hanging around there, but like whenever I got to a way shrine, I would like, pop to a bit to Reaper's March, take a look at the moon, like, no, okay, it's not the moon, back here. Uh, and then, on Sunday or Saturday, I can't remember, like, full moon, pop in, drop down, ooh, hang on, there's two levels, see what happens, and Seeker was the one that wanted to be a way. For excuse for it's different. Yeah, I think the best thing to do in this, Rob, is simply just to get a bow and stand on the side when you try to do this. Because I'm trying to do this with my Nightblade, and as I try to even run towards somebody, they're dead. I got deadly squid for some XP and uh, <laughs> the chest. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the dungeon. Give me a couple of seconds. Cool, I'm just going to log out, get back into Elrath. Probably not. I need to solve and re resolve the group sooner or something. Yeah, I don't think it's. <laughs> Is it? Wow! Yeah. 
Let's see what happens. Okay. <coughs> oh, beep one. No, I was just selecting a couple of other add-ons and then uh -huh. relaunching it. <laughs> uh, here's a question though. Nick, you're going to be in Alarath as a damage dealer? Uh, I guess so. You're going to be in? Uh, I've got bad theory. As a damage dealer as well. You mean bloody like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to be a fake healer or a fake tank, and I think I can do healer better than I can do tank. Why did I haven't dumped all of my... What skills can I taunt with? Okay, well I'm ready, you can add me. Oh, I've got nothing. Alright, uh, add to group. Going to be using this character, Sorceress? Uh, I am. Uh, one to but, group. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to dump stuff into this bag quickly. Yeah, I do not even have enough to try and fake. I'm just going to go check my restoration staff abilities as well. Uh, I was hoping to be able to drop the, um, you know, the winter's respite stuff. But that she was doing very successfully. But I just remember that was all level 32 and 28 stuff. So I keep these back with it. What are we waiting for? Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can pick a healer. Ah, okay. That it doesn't look as though that we're going to be any possible. I've got nothing that can put together as a combo. Uh, weapon. I don't even have a restoration staff skill mine. Mm. Other option is we don't go in as a random. We actually just go to the dungeon and go in by ourselves. Oh, because it's just about killing the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> we could give that a bash. Although, I mean, I'm going to be cock, so. Yeah, that's why we'll have to choose a. Very, very small one. Yeah, I suppose garbage. 
Night, Fungal Grotto, one, Spindle Clutch, one, Banished Cells, one. Uh, you know what? I would even say Elden Hollow. Elden Hollow, one, because I know that one backwards and it is gutty. Also, it's right next to Broadwood. It's not that far to travel. Grotwood, okay. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty. Go mapity map map map. Grotwood. Snuggle pod and boop. You just basically go to Elden Root, root and then no. yeah, head, head west for a tiny bit. It's actually in the, the roots of Elden Root. No, 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 Elden Hollow 1. Okay. Elden Hollow 1. Because Elden Hollow 2 is in the root. Yeah, it's the oh, same it dungeon. It's the same oh, dungeon. Okay, it is, it is. All of them are like that, actually. Um, Fungal Grotto 1 and Fungal Grotto 2 are in the same dungeon. But, like, Fungal Grotto 1 needs to go to certain areas, Fungal different bosses okay. are different, trash mobs are in different places. Uh, Elden Hollow One, right? Yeah. Okay. Jesus, how fast did you go through? I traveled to my snug pod and came out. Okay. Uh, it's a way shrine right there. Yeah, I know. I'm moving to that way shrine, and that's why I'm uh, wondering why you guys so can't add faster. Oh, I'm yeah. still map moving, so oh, I'm okay. probably last. I thought you were actually at the dungeon because when you go in, it asks. It's taking so long. Yeah, you just head south a little bit, and then out. Oh, this is up the Mick. Mick, your mm -hmm. place sucks. Your what? Your, your place sucks, this whole, your capital, your wood elf. I don't even like this place, dude. It's in the roots. <laughs> it's confusing. I can't, even, I can't even get out of this dam. I don't know where the door is. <laughs> just gotta just keep running around, dude. Gotta keep running around. There's a reason why I go to Somerset. I'm not saying we should genocide the Wood Elf, but I could see why some people might want to do that. <laughs> the town plan is atrocious. Well, sadly, the trees dictate where they build, so... Yeah. I'm by the dungeon, by the way. How the fuck do you get there? <laughs> <laughs> All I've got is this massive fucking tree in the way. Shit! Okay, not dead. Good. I think I'm, I'm just gonna go around. And here. Oh wait, that's something I should do is reduce. Where's my purifying Mara? There you go. Okay, so we're doing Eden Hollow 1, correct? Ancient Remains. Yeah. Cool. Alright, heading in. And please tell me we're all going at the same place and not yes. our own individual dungeons. Well, we're in a group already, so it should... Oh. It should take us all into the same one. Okay, good. And... Nope. Different, different place. Nice. I can eat my chicken. <coughs> nom nom nom. Oh, 
a guy? I just gotta slow them down enough for the, the hunger to get them. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, your level, your, your volume should be on 20% to go into lurk mode and yeah but you can also go into your volume mixer in your bottom right hand corner of windows and you can then reduce your uh internet browser volume down a bit as well that should help but i'm not going to be here much longer once we've done this then i'll be signing off so if you log off now it's perfectly fine i really appreciate it Killing Thalmor? Oh. We are going, there is no healing, buddy. Terio, yeah. might see you tomorrow. Got to get to cycle 200 in oxygen not included. Then we can call it a break from that. Then I have to go back to playing Dead Space. Although I was just given a new game called Autonauts, which looks interesting. So, may check that out. Looks confusing. It almost looks like coding. I, I'm not too sure. I gotta, I gotta get to the end of this. Stop attacking the plant life. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. Same. Running into trouble. Bosses are there in here? None. Then why do I see people with stupid amount? Bloody hell. Yeah, this may have been a bit of a mistake. <laughs> There's the boss. Where? Where's the boss? There's the boss. He's the boss. Okay, I need to spam every time I button bash. Ah, what is that? Oh, oh. Amazing the difference it makes when you don't actually have a tank to pin him in place, eh? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Doing a lot of backpedaling. A lot of backpedaling. <laughs> oh, no, no. Alright, Nick, get your damage in. He's after me now. I'm just gonna be holding a lot of block. Oh, no, he's still back on you again. Yep. I think Nick's doing the most damage to him. Nope, 
back on me. Time to heal in between. I do feel a little bit upset here. I'm doing 40% of the damage and he's ignoring me completely. Apparently I'm doing 40, 49%. So, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, put your damn weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm down to 35 now, so you're obviously doing a bit more or knickers. Uh, up to 50. Something. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. Mm. Doing whatever I'm doing. Oh, now he's on me. <laughs> the knife blade with the bow. I'm doing more damage with the bow. I'm out of stamina. I guess I've got to do a normal attack. Heavy attack rather. Oh, fuck. Now I see what the problem is. My back bar has changed. Just die already. Thank you, Hunger. Finally. A lot of running around, Nick. Fifty one percent. Holy shit. Your back's all Nick. Yes. I'm <laughs> carrying all your pieces of Just... I only got a gold one though. Uh, I didn't get gold, I got purple. I got purple. Yeah, get gold at the end the last one. Oh, at the end, right. Yeah. So is there any way to sneak past all the bosses just to get to the last one? If you're vampire level 4, you just run past them. We got a chest, yeah? Soul King! Yo! What do we have to... Loot! Stop uh, aggravating the plant life, Rob. <laughs> da, 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 it's crackling. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to let you guys do the damage. Oh crap, there's a lot of them here. It's okay, Coming. it's a mob, they're spammable. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sheesh. <laughs> oh, this. We're doing all right, but it's exciting. Oh man, jeepers! Do you know what I think it is? Is that your style is you know shoot and dodge, shoot and dodge, and my style is shoot and dodge and shoot and dodge. <laughs> and uh, Rob's the only one actually going in and picking a fight, and no. he's not really got the hit points or the levels for it. <laughs> So I swapped to shoot and dodge. <laughs> the way it should be. There we go. Now we're, now we're about synergizing. Oh, fuck that. Oh, shit. I'm just reminded of Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop. Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop. Dude, you should have seen it a while back. We got. We downloaded the uh, uh, what's it? The editor's version, the the what do they call it? The the director's Shit. edition, Someone's director's there. edition. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off! Waste of my vampire, but thank you. Um. Anyway, and in the the director's edition of Little Shop of Horrors. Audrey too actually wins. He, he, she eats everybody, or he eats everybody, right? Creates a whole lot of little Audreys, and they get spread around the world, and they all grow and they demolish the cities, all laughing maniacally. It's uh, fucking dark. And I was like, we were watching this, like, what? I don't remember this part. I remember, I remember Audrey getting electrocuted. 
you know, and then blowing up and going like, oh, shit, and, and explodes, you know, and this, this is like, what the hell is this, and then, like, we had a look at it, and Sydney had downloaded the, the director's edition, the version that he wanted to actually, um, you know, be released. But apparently everyone was a little too thinged about that, and the demographics didn't like it. That pull-in is fucking me around so much. Yes, and then the... Um the explosion. Mm. It's the only one that's actually doing any damage to me. I'm kind of ignoring these, so I'm just chipping away. <sighs> Get out and they pull me back in. Oh! <gasps> Just fucking die already. Oh. <sighs> that took a lot of time there. Um, just respect quickly. Purple. Ah, I've been booted. They're all purple. What happened? Uh, I'm in Excel. What? Alt tab? Oh, you hit the Windows key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, games disappeared. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go, logged out. The fuck? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I just need Carry to on without me, guys. <laughs> I'll we'll wait for you to catch up, don't worry. Are you back in combat already? I just wanted to find something to, to hit quickly. Take out the trash because... box. Uh, no, whoops, whoops, whoops. Just so I can track what I'm doing with my... Disappointed by the complete lack of loot to pillage around here. Boom, choke block, come in. Yo, there you are. Ah, giddy. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. There's a lot of fire here. Uh. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh. It's okay, I can spawn. It's alright. It's okay, so can I. Ah, I can't. <laughs> no, actually, I managed to pick up a soul shard on the last boss fight, so... The reason I emptied out my soul shards was to use the crown soul shards. Because there's priorities mm -hmm. on which ones get used first. Mm -hmm. But I didn't stock up before going into the dungeon, so... <laughs> Nick, come forward. Don't go any further back. Uh, is there something by me? Never mind. Yeah. <sighs> Whew, holy cow. John, John. Whew, okay, yeah. They look like they're still crazy. Oh, it's a boss, too. <laughs> yeah, leap flight. Damn, so yeah. you tell me I would have backpedaled right into the boss. That yeah. would have sucked. <laughs> and then there's another one in the corner over here. Oh, where does plant come from? The stranglers. You're right, though. By mm -hmm. So this guy's a boss over here. Yeah. And then there's the Argent boss in front of there. Nick, we ain't doing nothing without you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Yeah, okay. Good. Alright. Healer first. Shit, 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 shit. One down, two down. Oh, fuck. Guy's got a nasty backhand. Alright, you taking care of the boss. Cool. That's it. Trash mob done. We're coming. Okie dokie. Ooh, what's that? Yeah! I just have to stay ahead of it. Just, just stay ahead of it. That's all you can do. There we go. Whew. I got like two shots in on him with my execute because that area effect on the ground just follows you. Yeah. I find backpedaling going left, backpedaling going right actually kept me out of it. Okay, and then we're going to go take on this armor. Do we have to? Yes. Can we just go pet it? Go to thunder still, damn it. <laughs> I mean the little one of course, not the big one. <laughs> Ow. No mm -hmm. bitey bitey, I'm not a chew toy. Buzz off. It's just a... Okay, last boss. Come on, keep him in the corridor, Gosh, keep him in the corridor, keep him in the corridor, come on, come on. Yes! Whew! Oh, you went after the trash. Yeah, well, yeah, there was a whole bunch of them, but I managed to keep them in the corridor, so it was easier to kill. Yeah, come on, last boss. And then I need to go to sleep.
Oh, you're going the other way. Okay, that's why I was wondering why I was by myself. Oh, sugar bush. Oh well. All right, go poke him. Health dropping. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Anytime I want to run in and get close, you know. Yeah. Know. There you go. Okay. Sweet. Oh, and I got a lead. Face the serpent. Huh. Nice. Do we go through the black portal thingy? No. Okay. Good. Oh, picked up witch's rift. Yay. Oh, better open it while you're here. Give me a second, uh, John. Oh, that's cunning. Uh, this is not the place to be trading. Yeah, it was the worst that can happen. Uh, I've right. I've got a witch's writ. It's crunchy pumpkin snack skewers. Nice Great easy. stuff. There should be a white portal appearing soon. Let's go through that and trade. Okay. You may want to step away from the big black sucking portal. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Rob dies, his character disappears into the uh, in-between. <laughs> Vanished from where, from whence he came from. Any minute now? Come on, let's get out of here. Can I assassinate this person? Uh, oh, bad kitty. Ah, you all look the same. <laughs> That's tailless. Okay, clearly this is not going to happen. There should be a portal that appears that takes us back, but it's... But you guys trade now. Yeah. Don't fuck him off too much. You give him the thing. I don't have rifts in mine. Oh. It's just regular plunders. Okay, we Okay, and bone, bone, bone. Okay, there we go. Ooh, yay! All the recipes, John. Ooh. Do you have the recipe? Uh, yeah, I remember they're under Depth Burn. Okay. Awesome! I'm actually glad that wasn't too bad. That was a nice challenge. It was interesting. I'll give you that. Okay, it's definitely past my bedtime, so good night, everybody. Good See night! I'm gonna call it quits here, too. Cheers, bye. No, no, Gotta just get out of this dungeon first, get back to a place of safety. <laughs>
Listen, I come back in a dungeon and be like, ah, oh, the boss fight all over again. Boss is fresh She's like, oh, you're still here. <laughs> 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 ah, I see you Gabby, have followed me. <laughs> Just rub a chat to you, know. possibly tomorrow. Yes, quite possibly. Well, if you're gonna be on, I'm gonna be on. Yeah, I may pop in before my stream starts, and then I'll hang out for a bit. Cool. Boy. Bye. Bye. Okay, who is on? Who's doing what? Today is Monday, so we should have... Oh, 90 or John Doe. Oh, that's easy enough. And... Neither? Is no one streaming? Am I the only one streaming? That's weird. 90, I thought, aren't you streaming now? Or soon? Am I got, have I got my times mixed up again? I mean, it's quarter to 12. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. I need somebody to read. I have somebody to read. Balls. In an in an hour. Oh, dang damn it! I can't hold on for that long. I'm fading away. Well, I've only got like two other people in my chat anyway, so it's not anything crazy, dude. I'm sure they'll pop back in for you. I'm going to actually call it here, guys. I'm like, i got more work tomorrow. We're doing more maintenance and stuff. I'm just like, I'm so excited. Nah. Okay. Have a good one. I'll chat to you tomorrow. Bye.